Anton Brando, Chief Economist at Candrium Investors Group. Um, inflation is low everywhere in the world. Um, to, what, um, to what reasons do you attach this? Well, you have to remember that the world economy is just coming out of a very important and deep crisis that put the developed economies on the, on the verge of deflation. So right now, deflationary pressures are still present in the world economy. Commodity prices have been brought down by, this deflation, by those deflationary forces and have not picked up. And right now, both emerging economies and developed economies are benefiting from this slack on commodity markets, but also on labor markets. Remember that in Europe, for instance, uh, unemployment rates are still very elevated. So altogether, deflationary forces are dominating right now the world economy, and inflation will not pick up, at least in the very near future, in most parts of the world. Now, the, you mentioned developed economies, emerging markets, um, in the developed countries, where do they stand at the moment? Which, uh, which era is in, in the better situation, the US or Europe? Well, if you reason in terms of getting out of those deflationary risks, the US clearly has managed during the last years to slowly, slowly pull out of a very risky situation if you just look at the unemployment rate. The US economy has managed to, to bring back its unemployment rate to an almost normal level. We're close to 5.5%, which could be viewed as being a normal level for the unemployment rate. So the US economy already achieved quite a, a lot in terms of getting out of deflation, of deflationary risks. If you look at Europe, the euro area is not there yet. Remember that the QE in Europe was the ECB QE was launched precisely to try to get rid, to ward off this deflationary risk. And we're not sure yet that it will be successful. We do believe that Europe will move out of deflation, uh, but we're not fully sure of this yet. Emerging countries, um, there is of course various countries with different developments, but where do they stand at the moment? Well, they are in very different situation, but here again, deflationary pressures have been very strong in many, in many emerging countries. In China, of course, it's difficult to talk about deflationary pressures, but still, if you look at the rates of growth in China, they've been moving downwards during the last years, and this is a sign that China has difficulties in regaining the kind of momentum it has, it had before the crisis, so they are slowly trying to find a, a new way of managing their economy, relying much more on domestic demand than on foreign demand. But here again, uh, they realize, China is realizing that it's very difficult to rely on its own domestic demand to grow. And right now, they also are trying to re-stimulate their economy. Here again, will they achieve it? It's not totally sure. It's a very, very long-term uh, process. Most parts of the world are trying to find new ways of growing, relying much more on their own domestic demand than on the rest of the world. Um, this, of course, must have um, um, an impact on, on currency exchange, on exchange rates. What, what do you expect in the, in the next uh, month and years? Well, e exactly. This idea that you have to rely more on your domestic demand than on the rest of the world means that trying to gain market shares in, in, today economy, in today's economy is something that already has reached its limit. Actually, if you look at currencies, two currencies ha have been appreciating against most of the other ones. It's a dollar on one hand, we, we leave the Swiss franc aside for a second, and also the Chinese yuan. So those two economies, you know, have been appreciating and losing market shares against the rest of the world. But this has reached a limit. And we believe that uh, in the near future, currency will, you, you know, at least uh, as a whole, uh, will stop depreciating. Uh, may, maybe some emerging countries will still depreciate a bit. But we believe that this kind of movement has already reached its limit.